Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we've got something genuinely jaw-dropping. DeepSeek just released R1, and it's already causing a massive buzz in the AI community. Why? Because its performance is on par with OpenAI's latest model. And get this, it's fully open source. If you've been wondering where the AI industry is headed this year, buckle up because R1 is changing the game in ways no one expected. Let's explore why people are calling it a big wake-up call for even the biggest AI players. A big reason for all the excitement is a simple bar chart. It shows DeepSeek R1 going head-to-head -head with OpenAI's Zero One model. Both use a system two thinking approach, which basically lets them think more deeply before responding. The results, mind-blowing. DeepSeek R1 not only keeps pace with OpenAI Zero One, it also outperforms the Zero One mini version on many benchmarks. Remember, these benchmarks are super tough, but R1 is smashing them, fueling the conversation on just how fast AI capabilities are evolving. Here's another breakthrough most people skim over. DeepSeek's paper discusses how R1 can be distilled into smaller models without losing much performance. Distillation transfers knowledge from a teacher model to a smaller student model. The payoff? More efficient systems that can still handle complex tasks. We're talking near state-of-the-art results packed into smaller sizes, cheaper to run, faster to operate. It's like having a powerful AI brain that's slimmed down for everyday use. One of the coolest parts of their research is self-evolution. The model shows more sophisticated reasoning when given extra thinking time. In other words, R1 learns to refine its steps and explore alternative solutions on its own. This isn't something the developers directly programmed. It's an emergent property arising from how the model interacts with its environment. It's a perfect example of AI spontaneously picking up new skills just by being given the right incentives. They even share snippets of R1's internal thought process. In one math problem example, the model literally says, wait, 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 aha, as it corrects itself mid-calculation. It's as if the AI has its own light bulb moment, showing how it learns and revises strategies, very much like a human might. This internal dialogue is something OpenAI keeps hidden, so seeing it out in the open is both fascinating and a little uncanny. On social media, users have posted R1's internal reasoning for everyday tasks, like picking a random number. It's almost disturbingly human, mulling over choices like 777 or 42, then reconsidering because they might be too obvious. We're finally getting a peek behind the AI curtain, and it's amazing how human-like these reasoning steps can be. DeepSeek's openness in showing internal thoughts raises a big question. Do we risk seeing these models as too human? Open A. I hides these chain of thought processes partly for competitive reasons, but also to prevent confusion about whether AI has genuine consciousness. As AI continues to get smarter, expect more intense debates on whether these systems think the way we do. The researchers highlight a crucial factor, reinforcement learning. It works by rewarding correct or valuable actions, which then pushes the AI to discover better and better strategies. This is how R1 stumbles into new, advanced problem-solving methods. No extra instructions needed. It's like discovering hidden shortcuts just by having the right goals in place. If you love charts and data, DeepSeek's paper has them in droves. R1 is right up there with major models like GPT-4, Claude 3.5, and OpenAI-01 on loads of benchmarks, even after distillation into smaller versions like 70B or 32B parameter models. R1's performance remains incredibly high. That's a huge boon for researchers or developers who need powerful AI but can't afford massive server costs. Interestingly, DeepSeek itself grew from a quant finance group that already owned tons of GPUs for crypto mining. R1 appears to be a side project that's now rivaling the giants. This raises a bigger question. How long can OpenAI's advantage last is if an open source team can rapidly catch up and give their model away for free? Overall, the release of R1 is a massive milestone. It proves that open source AI isn't just an underdog anymore. It can be right on par with industry leaders. This competition is fantastic for pushing AI innovation faster. Plus, smaller distilled versions of top tier models mean Startups and researchers worldwide can experiment with minimal hardware and budget. So is DeepSeek R1 the future of open source AI? At the very least, it's a shining example of how fast this field moves. We've got models thinking with near human logic, smaller but still super powerful AI systems, and breakthroughs emerging from simple incentives. If this is what the first few months of the year look like, imagine where we'll be by year's end, let alone in three years. Stay tuned because the AI race just hit high gear.